Hello. <laughs> Why is the camera pointing at the ceiling? Uh, because we're doing an unboxing, and the thing we're going to unbox is like rather on the large side. And so where the camera normally sits goes across the field of where I normally do these things. And because of that, um, you, you wouldn't have been able to see me. Like, this is me sitting in my chair normally. And, I mean, there's a box in the way. So, we're going to get right into it. This unboxing is either going to be a complete and utter bust, or it's going to be really cool. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> it is October 21st when I'm recording this, which is Gotham Knights release day. And I, being a soccer, pre-ordered the collector's edition off of GameStop.ca's website because it was not available for pre-order in stores but it was god awfully expensive and I hope it was worth it. The, that's the pre-order bonus uh, keychain there, which I don't really care that much about, but I'm just going to turn this upside down. Hopefully they sent it for the right system. They did, Xbox Series X. Uh, the reason why is because I don't have a disk drive on my PS5. So, and I play primarily on Xbox, as you probably no doubt noticed. So the good news is the thing just slides right off. I feel like it might be a window box for the statue, which is what I wanted it for. Ooh. Are the logos on each side? So we got Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood, Robin. That's cool. So we just got the sleeve. This is what we bought it. This is why we went after it was for this statue. And I hope it was worth it. Because if it wasn't, I'm going to be deeply disappointed. Surprisingly, the box is not sealed in any way, shape, or form. Oh. So here we go. So we have a art book here. If I can get it out. Wow, they did not make it easy to get anything out of this. I was just pull the whole thing in. Yeah, I'm gonna say the statue was worth it. I assume it's an art book. Oh, it's it is, but it's got like a place to hold the disc. Why would I want to put the disc in there when I've got an actual game case? Or why bother sending a game case? Like a regular game case, right? We got that, we got the game, we got the user guide for a statue. We have our bonus codes. We have a map of Gotham City. Oh, here's a, that's a plastic one. Got this 
pin. Augmented reality pin. There we go. We got something. It says Gotham Knights now in the middle of the thing. Oh. It just plays trailers. Well, the good news is I got it to work finally. I'm hitting back. There we go. I assume it's just the character trailers. Oh, oh. Face filter. Oh, it's taking me to Instagram. Ah, I'm Nightwing. We'll just take screenshots of this. All right, let's go back. I'm Red Hood. You can kind of see it on the thing. I'll post I'll post pictures of all of these. I'm Robin. One more. I'm back, girl. All right. Enough of that. Let's see if that does anything. And then we've got our little card that tells us that this was 7,271 of 20,000 made. All right. There is okay. It's around. Get all the little weapons out here. <laughs> hey, I wonder 
who the guns belong to. Alright. Now, we can sit back down. Because the box is out of the way. Alright, user guide. Let's figure out whose weapons belong to who. Well, what do you know? Nightwing's sticks belong to him. Alright. This is this is always the parts I hate. Is trying to put things oh, together. Okay, so that goes like that. That goes like that. Okay. The staff belongs to Robin, of course. It's a long bow staff. I assume it only goes in one way. Oh my god. Seriously, is there a trick to this? What the hell? Alright, let's skip that for now. Of course, Batgirl has the nightstick. Which, for some reason, I cannot get in her hand either. Diagram shows it can go in further. Ah! Oh my goodness. Nightwings was the easiest to do. What the hell? Could you have made these any more difficult? What if I try sliding it in from the other side? Oh my god. Again, could they have made these any more difficult? Ouch. All right. Just got to get Robin's staff. <laughs> I 
don't know if this is like when he goes in one way kind of thing. It doesn't look like it. It looks like it's the same on both ends. Oh my god. Oh my god, there we go, finally. All right, there we go. Statue complete. I'm gonna say money well spent. Probably not, but <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. So yeah. That's our statue. Our creator bonus. Bonus code. Our map. Of course, the game. This art book. And that's what's all in the box. Still pretty cool. I like it. I can dig it. Uh, let's pop the game open here real quick. Disc, and we got another code there. Oh, and another code. So many codes. Oh. So many codes. Very cool. Very cool. So, yeah. Uh, the statue's a little bit smaller than I was hoping it was going to be. The box was a bit smaller than I was hoping it was going to be. But, still a good size statue. Um, I'm not disappointed with the size. I was concerned that it was going to be almost like a miniature statue. Um, now, was this worth the price? I would say no compared to some of the stuff I've bought in the past. I've bought in collector's editions before for the previous Batman games. Uh, they were less expensive, and some of them came with much more impressive statues. Um, or at least equally impressive statues. Uh, the Arkham Origins one with the Joker with the TVs and so forth, pretty good. Um, I definitely liked that one. Um, but again, significantly less than this was. Um, the Arkham Knight one with the really tall, really good Batman statue, much more impressive than this and still cheaper than this. Um, the, the Batman Arkham City one statue, probably a little bit smaller, but again, a lot cheaper than this. So yeah, um, this is what you get in the collector's edition. This is the statue. It is a cool statue, though. Um, I do like it. Um, I gotta find a place to put it now, of course. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing uh, uh, a first date video uh, that will air probably shortly after this goes up on YouTube um, for this game as well. And uh, we will probably be playing through it somewhat regularly hopefully um because the plan is to try and finish the game uh like we've finished all the previous batman games i i know this is uh what warner brothers montreal although i think they just recently changed their name but it does still say warner brothers uh montreal on the 
case. Um, these were the same guys behind the Arkham Origins game. I know the reviews have come out today for the game, and they're not great. Um, but I'm, I still have faith. I still have faith that this is going to be a decent game and that I'll enjoy it. But we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, the fact that it does have online co-op is kind of cool. So I don't know. We'll, maybe we'll see about doing that with some people. Who knows? Anyways, that's it. That's all I've got for this video. I hope you enjoyed um, uh, this unboxing video. Uh, give us a like. Like the video. Give us a follow, subscribe, and all that other stuff. And don't forget to always check out the link tree below. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks. Bye.